For the past couple of years, as far as compact cameras go, I've been shooting with the Sony NEX 5T. It's a great camera, but it's not as compact as I would like it to be, and uh, having a compact camera with interchangeable lenses kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a compact camera because you end up carrying all these uh, lenses, um, and especially when it comes to the 30mm 1.4, uh, it's just huge. But the reason why I've been hesitant to buying a new one is I've been shooting with my iPhone and because it's always in, in my pocket, it tends to be the camera that I go to most of the time and you know how it is. You wait for a new iPhone with new specifications, with upgrades and whatnot, but they're simply not going in the direction that I want them to go in the pace that I want it to happen. So I ended up buying the uh, uh, Sony RX100 Mark V the other day. And it's an amazing camera, but it's slippery. Man, the front especially, there's absolutely no grip uh, whatsoever. And having such an expensive camera uh, in your hand, you get a bit nervous. So I need that grip. With that in mind, I went kind of the Casey Neistat DIY route, um, but just with a little bit more patience and precision um, to get me the grip that I was looking for. Um, and this is what I did. So this is what it looks like out of the box and for a long time I had been meaning to change the grip tape on our stroller but never got around to it because whatever. Um, anyway, so I thought that this would be a great application uh, for the, the, the grip tape because I was lacking grip. Um, so by using a lens cap I, uh, I traced around it and cut that circular shape so it would sit snug and beautifully uh, around the, uh, the lens of the Sony. And given that I had no idea how this was gonna end up, uh, and out of sheer fear of uh, destroying <laughs> the aesthetics of uh, this beautiful 1,000 euro piece of equipment, um, I went with a glue gun uh, to, to try to uh, get it in place. Um, but obviously, as I suspected, um, it didn't really do a good job, and once the glue settled, uh, it just came straight off. So I ended up with a flexible glue, the type that you would use for, uh, for example, uh, shoes and you know other flexible materials. And so I applied a, a thin coating on the uh, grip tape and just nudged it into place where it was supposed to be and it looks pretty decent actually. But I wasn't quite satisfied with that because the upper part where my knuckle rests, um, that was still slippery and so I decided to cut a second piece and just cover the entire right side of the camera. This is what it looks like. Whether I'm out jogging or running after the toddler, um, this is gonna sit very nicely in my hand. I'm not gonna be afraid of dropping it or anything like that. Um, and it's a really cheap solution to a possible expensive accident. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.